Hello and welcome back to another proper classic in this 500 subscriber special. Thought I'd do a bit of an update. State of the fleet, I think that's what you call it if you've got multiple cars. Um, well, I pick up my car, it's been off the drive for a few days due to some gas works we've had going on. But um, yeah, I'll go for a quick drive for when I head home and give you an update on what's happening with the Merc and the other couples in the uh, not a proper classic fleet. So while I'm heading back, I thought I'd just say, give you a quick update as to where everything's up to on the uh, North Proper Classic fleet. Let's try and turn right in a bit sharp, but a bit of a blind junction as well that we're through. But um, yeah, first of all, thank you to everyone who subscribes and, and watches. It's, it's, it's a, amazing to get up to 500 subscribers. I never thought I would, um, as what turned out to be essentially a channel documenting just what I'm doing for my own, my own purposes really on what I've done on all the cars in the fleet. Getting up to 500 subscribers is fantastic and that opens up soon the possibility to um, earn some money. Just need to get those watch hours up so you know go back and watch the old catalogue. I will say I think it opens memberships first at least to start off with. Um, hopefully always going forward with those membership there's some of that money that comes in. I'll look to donate that to the um, RSPCA branch, my local RSPCA branch, of which I am a trustee. So you know, you'll be supporting a good cause. I'll look to send us all of that to, to those guys there. Um, so yeah, and I'll I'll say if I get to a thousand subscribers, I'll look to do a little update from from the branch as well. So please, you know, subscribe, like, and watch all the old stuff. Let me know which videos you like as well. Um, I've enjoyed doing all of them. Sometimes the working on the cars has been a bit of a pain. But um, let me know what you think, what's good, what's not. What you'd like to see more of, what you'd like to see different and improved. I know sound quality is one that's been mentioned. I am looking, probably in the new year, look to get some microphones to try and improve the quality of things a bit. But um, I'll look to do that. In terms of the, the fleet going forward, we're starting the old Merc, which, which started it all. Uh, it's still idling very high. Yeah, that's not normal. Um, so I need to have a look at that. But the next big set of work on this is basically our cooling system overhaul. So I've got radiators, uh, radiator turning off, I've done the hoses, I've got coolant, changing the oil cooler transmission, cooler pipes as well. Uh, it's all auto dock stuff that I've got through. And I've got the, uh, the, the safe order, so I can send this up back if and when, when it doesn't fit or it's not needed, no problem. I'll also be looking to do a transmission service. So I've got some ATF coming, I think it's, 5.8 litres, so that's quite a lot. Also transmission filter as well, just to keep on top of things. Once we've done all of that, I can then hopefully, hopefully that means it's all running properly, all running nicely. Just make sure I avoid all this traffic. Yeah, hopefully it'll all be running properly and I can actually finally get around to making it look nice all the cosmetic nice stuff that's going on so one big thing is the passenger side door you may have seen on my Halloween short there's the rust spot on there so we're looking to get the replacement door I've got painted and ready then essentially looking to swap all of that over I also look to change the regulator or motor on there as well because that window doesn't work. It did work and then it just gradually slowly slowly died on me. I should have gone the other way. That's fine, I can make that turn. Um, yeah, so get that door and window rust free and working. Uh, I've also got the bolster on this side here. I've got the replacement panel so I want to get that done as well. Uh, so that cosmetic stuff and then anything else that just crops up as and when. I looked to get all the wheels matching, refurbished and looking nice and I've got some wheel centre caps 
in the boot as well. So I'll get all of that done. Um, so yeah, this is still you know, rolling restoration, I think you'd call it. Next up, the Figaro, the San Figaro Pilot. It doesn't need much work, I think the service, the key, um, they've been kind of the big things there. We'll look to get a parking stick at some point. So um, if you've got a Nissan Figaro parking stick, going spare with brackets, let me know. Um, I will be interested. The other thing we've got to do is, we want to do, um, kind of get the seats either reupholstered, recovered, because the leather's cracking out and drying, which given it's 33, 34 years old, I think that's fair. But obviously we want to get that done. And then again, let's just keep it on top of that, making sure it looks nice. Maybe paint the polo wheel, wheel trims on it. Um, and then the final one of the fleet is Big Willy, the Toyota Will VI, of which there should have been a couple of videos recently. I want to try and get that roadworthy. Um, maybe bigger issues in that. But again, that's finish up the brakes, um, get some new tyres, treat and sort out any rust in the bottom. It looks pretty solid, I think it's all surface rust, but if we can get that sorted, that's all good. And then there's, again, we will want to have that repainted at some point, but we want to make sure it's on the road first, get the radio working. So again, the cosmetics there, but get it mechanically sorted, then get it up and on the road. And then it's just trying to stay on top of everything we've got. There's there are other cars in there. How do you say? Extended, not a proper classic fleet, but may need some work, may need bits and pieces here and there, servicing and so on. And if you had a classic car, you, you know, there's always something that crops up. But uh, yeah, that's that's kind of the update really. So um, here's to the next 500 subscribers and then beyond that. As I say thank you again. Really appreciate the support and the time and the comments that we've gone and slowly, slowly growing the channel. Um, yes, yeah, so please do like, comment, and subscribe and share, and all the rest of it. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video, uh, whatever that will be going forward. Probably more big wheelie stuff. So until then, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, and thank you for your continued support. And as a final note, I'm going to say RSPCA, Isla Stanley Branch, go check them out, check out the website, donate if you want. And when we get in for memberships and stuff on this channel, that's where the money will be going. So you know, not only helping and supporting me and this channel, but support what is a really good cause. So, um, yeah, thanks guys. I appreciate it.